One of the things that we need to talk about when we talk about parabolas in focal form is how to determine which direction that they go. Um, so this is the uh, focal form of the parabola that we talked about in previous videos, um, where the h and the k are the vertex, and then the 4p is the focal width. Um, now there's some things we, we can do to make this graph um, open up in different directions. So this right here, this is just kind of like the, the original version of this. This is just a, a standard parabola that's going to open up in, in the vertical direction here. So when we draw something like this, we're going to have a focus, and we're going to have a directrix, and we're going to have a vertex that, remember, is the same distance from the focus as it is from the directrix. So I put that guy about halfway in between and then our, our parabola is going to open up, you know, something like this. And this is the vertex. Okay. Now, if we wanted this to open down the other way, we kind of have to think back to our transformations and figure out, well, what would that look like and how would we do that? Um, the way we do that is basically just by adding a negative sign somewhere. Um, if you recall, back when we were talking about standard form, which we're now referring to as quadratic form, um, we had this guy. And we said, if that a is negative, then this parabola we know is going to open down. And something really similar is true here. So what we could do is if we want a parabola that opens down, we'll just add a negative somewhere. So we have x minus h squared equals negative 4p times y minus k. We'll just make this a negative over here, and that's going to have the effect of, of moving everything down. So if there's a, a negative here, then what we're going to have is we're going to have um, a directrix, right, and we're going to have a focus, and we're going to have a vertex in the middle, and our parabola is just going to open in this direction. So being able to look at the equation that we have and tell whether the graph is opening up or down is important. Now, one thing that's a little bit different here when we're talking about conic sections parabolas versus like um, polynomials is when we were talking about quadratics, which is in the polynomial family, we only talked about functions, basically. Right? These are both functions because they pass the vertical line test. But if we're in um, conic sections land, there's a way to write an equation for a parabola that's not a function, but that is, still represents a parabola. So if we wanted to, we could actually make our parabola open up left and right. And this is how we do that. So we have x minus h. Sorry, let me go back. What we're going to do is we're going to change the variable that's squared. So instead of the x plus h piece, I'm actually going to put the y minus k piece first. So we're going to have y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Right? Now notice there's only one squared piece, right? This is kind of like the x section. This is kind of like the y section. And then there's the, the focal width right there. In this case, it's very similar, but the, the y minus k and the x minus h have switched places. So in this case, essentially what you have is a y squared. And if you were to actually foil that out, you would get your y squared. Um, so this is an x squared type parabola, x squared, the kind of the ones we're used to. This is actually a y squared parabola, which is a little bit different. This one's actually going to open to the right. So we're still going to have a focus and a directrix and a vertex. But now the focus is going to be to the right of the vertex. And this guy is going to open up this way. Right? Now this distance here between the directrix and the vertex is still going to be called p. And this distance between the vertex and the focus is still going to be called p. And this is still the focal width. It's 4p still. So all of those relationships that we saw in the previous form is still the same. Um, the vertex is still going to be at hk, so that's, you're still going to find the vertex in the same way. We just know that this one's going to actually open up to the right. Now, if there's one more way to write this, and we have a parabola that's going to open up to the left. So to get this guy to open up left instead of opening to the right, we're just going to put a negative uh, on that, that 4p again. So the last one we're going to have here is we're going to have a y minus k squared equals negative 
four p x minus h. So it's like a y squared parabola, right? Okay, now we're instead of squaring x, we're squaring y, and it's negative, so it's like the negative version of a y squared parabola. It's going to open up this way. And when we say open up, what I mean is that the arrows of the parabola are going to go in the right direction here, they're going to go left. And remember, they always open up around the focus. So here's your focus. You can think of this again like a mouth that's like chomping a marble, like Pac-Man. This one's going to chomp the marble going to the left. So you're going to have a focus, you're going to have a directrix, you're going to have a vertex in there, and your parabola is going to open up around the focus in this direction. So that's to your left. Right? So these are the, the four different versions of the parabola in focal form. So they're all really, really similar. They all have a squared piece that goes on the left. Um, they have the 4p, which is the focal width, and sometimes that can be negative if we're going in the, the negative direction, in this case down, in this case left. Um, and then we have the other piece that's not squared. So these are like the four different versions. What we're going to need to be able to do in our homework is to be able to look at an equation in focal form and tell, first of all, where the vertex is, second of all, what direction it's going, and that will allow us to find the focus in the directrix. So being able to spot the direction um, from the equation is going to be important. This is just general, generic information. So um, the next video, we'll actually do some examples here, and you can We'll put this into practice.